And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's RB Leipzig against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, with the final so close, really important for both sets of players to stay in the now. Block the final out of the mind. Stay in the semi-final and do your job. I don't think it's overstating it to say that the Champions League is the holy grail for Paris Saint-Germain. And my goodness, Lee Dixon, they're in with a chance here. Well, they are, yeah. I mean, their domestic league is kind of given every year. They just stroll to the Championship. This is a real test for them, though, this competition. And they've done brilliantly well so far. Can they go that next level? Can they get to the final? Maybe win that beautiful trophy. Now, let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back, the wing backs exposed like this in this formation. But 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint Germain. Kaylon Navas starts in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And Mauro Icardi starts together with Kylian Mbappe. The ball with Zabitza. Possession lost. They've given it away. Kunku. He's going forward well here. And that was a very fine read. When he first hit the headlines as such an artist with the ball at his feet at a young age, Neymar. And safe to say he's pushed on, Lee. Yeah, I think that's a good description of him, an artist. He does paint pictures on the football pitch. Really brilliant movement. Loves to take defenders on. He's a nightmare to play against, I'm sure. Verratti, Icardi, magnificent challenge to win it back. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And it's a really good-looking Paris Saint-Germain attack. What will they do next? Not deep, Mukiele. Well, great read there to intercept. Zabitza top class defending space afforded PSG and a goal it is the opener in this game well keep it tight that's what both managers would have been insane but now the opening goal's gone in tactics have got to change well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generated a lot of power. And the keeper just can't react in time, look. back playing again PSG with the lead
the switch of play now. Others in the vicinity. And he has clear options in the middle. And Cuckoo. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, he's gone for pure power. And why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. Let's have another view of that goal. Even Steven won a piece in this match. Kira. Well, you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. They've regained possession. He's letting it go as they keep the ball. They could nudge in front. He certainly has time. Will he find the net? Incredible reflex action from Kalo Navas. Well, he just gets in the right position and then he stretches. Brilliant. Very good use of advantage there by the official, letting the play carry on and then only subsequently handing out the yellow card. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what the fans want. They want to see the game going on. They don't want to see it stopped or something like that. You can always go back and book the player later. And firing it into the area. Not the corner, right on the back of the last one. And he's fired over the corner. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. Wonderful chance. Navas, routine for him. Nkunku has it. Just the kind of tackle that was needed from Idrissa Gay. Mbappe with it. Icardi. Again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly, he's done just that, what a finish. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Away again here with PSG in front. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Schick. The referee has indicated there will be really a good reading of the game to win possession back. Not the Mukieli. The first half here comes to an end. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire, and a steely determination.
second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Verratti now. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Mauro Icardi here. Well, they had designs on a double, but the goalkeeper wasn't having it. Well, he did better than the first time, the goalkeeper. What a save that is. I must say, this looks promising. And Neymar! After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Neymar has a go here, and you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Paulsen, they don't normally need a second invitation to give it a go on the counter. Promising sequence. The ball with Zabitza. And Patrick Schick now, and played in. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. He'll be cross with himself based on the position he had taken up. Well, yeah, it was poor technique, wasn't it? Thrashed at it a little bit, went for power. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. And a half-baked clearance. Must score! What a splendid volley it was, but denied by the frame of the goal. Well, he took the chance, didn't he? He swung his leg at it in a volley, and he's hit the woodwork. An unforced error, you've got to say. on the ball and now with Angelino looks promising this it's there for him and it was fired straight at the keeper no real difficulties for him no decent position from the goalkeeper poor shot to be honest with you it's a weighted pass gliding through the gears is it going to be terrific block there So, 20 minutes to go. This might be ideal for the counter. Marcel Zabitza. Lima on the ball. And Kunku. Marquinhos with the block. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Verratti. Here is Juan Bernat. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this position? Will it be? Oh, it's gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals. Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed. Let's have another view of that goal.
Well, this is quite a personnel switch. Three PSG substitutions all in one go. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Nordi Mukieli. Lima on the ball. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And the defender takes care of business. This is Neymar. Sumptuous pass from Neymar. Kylian Mbappe, does he mean business? Surely. And he's kept to that. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. indeed technique just leaning back a little bit that's why it goes so high okay this is Neymar Mbappe Giving them a different option by moving in field. The case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. And just the one minute left in normal time here. Upamecano. Marcel Zabitza. Nkunku has it. Full time then, and job done for PSG. They will carry an advantage with them into the second leg. Well, to be honest with you, Derek, after the first leg in the semi-final, I'd take any advantage. It is a small one, not comfortable one, but you'd rather go into the second leg up than down. So, lot to play for, still very, very tight. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.